Hey everyone, before the video starts, we wanted to just say, we look forward to the support and feedback you give us. Feel free to leave anything you want in the comments to help us get better at this. We'd also love if you liked and subscribed or followed as it helps motivate us to keep making these videos. Anyways, enjoy watching us play. Hey guys, hop in the Discord call. Oh God, what in hell is this? What's up, Obama? I'm here. So since Joe picked a horror game last time, I thought I'd go ahead and pick one too, since it seems more fun than whatever that school one Donald picked was. Oh God, another scary game? Yep, here I'll read the description. April 3rd, 2017. How much does this date tell you? For the main character, it became very significant because this is the day of his death. The protagonist was precisely in the train that arrived at the Metro Station Technological Institute with the bodies of the innocent already dead people. So we're basically living the day that we died? That sounds cool, I like it, let's play. April 3rd, 2017, 2.33 p.m., date of your death. Well, that's ominous as fuck. You were exactly on the train that arrived on Metro Station with the bodies of innocent, already dead people. Wait, so everyone else is dead? You are a sinner. Oh man, that's an understatement. If they knew everything I've done, I'd be in hell already. Only by redeeming your most terrible sins committed in life can you get from purgatory in the best place. Get out of your dirty soul. So it's kind of like we're redeeming ourselves or something? Yeah, it's like we're atoning for the sins we committed. This is like an adjacent version of Christianity if it were 2,000 times scarier. Shut up, Donald. Look, we're waking up somewhere. Looks like we're in an empty field or something. No shit, Joe. I think we should be more concerned about why it looks like we're in a $2 version of the Stranger Things upside down. Well, it says we're dead. Maybe we're in some type of purgatory. What the hell's a perjury? Joe, you dumbass. Purgatory, not perjury. Perjury is what you based your entire presidency off of. Purgatory is like the judgment hall before heaven and hell or whatever. Oh, so you think we're already dead, Obama? Well, it's definitely a possibility. Let's stop fixing the sensitivity and actually play, though. I can barely read what the phone says. Is there a way to, like, zoom in or something? Donnie, you're blind as shit even by my standards. That obviously says watermelon. Oh my god, you're both fucking idiots. It says welcome. So where are we going exactly? We're in the middle of a random fucking field. I think we're just going through the tutorial right now, Donald. Chill the hell out. I don't need a damn tutorial. I am amazing. I know everything, therefore I know how to play this game without it. Yeah, we will see where that gets you when it comes time to run from something. Oh, so I was right. We're in the world of the living and the world of the dead, which is basically purgatory. Looks like we gotta go to that bunker. Yeah, I think I'll stay out here. My, uh, uh, my legs aren't working right now, you know? I think I need to sit out. Shut the hell up, Joe. It's almost like those little fucking spaghetti legs you have weren't working at all in the first place with how often you trip over shit. Oh, I like this song. <laughs> Fuck this radio. Joe, that was literally just static. What the fuck is your taste in music? I tend to dabble with a little white noise. I also like siren noises. It's almost like the only thing that plays inside your fucking head is white noise. Did we just pick up a fucking needle? Yeah, I swear to God, with needles like that, they should have called it Hunter Biden Simulator. Why would they call it that? Joe, how the fuck are you so oblivious to what your own children are doing? Yeah, that's honestly surprising coming from someone whose entire presidential campaign was about preserving future generations. You know there are gaps in my knowledge, okay? I sometimes forget I even had kids. Joe, that's not gaps in your knowledge. That's literal fucking canyons. I imagine your brain looks like a spider web built by a spider high on fucking LSD. Hey, fuck you guys. Can we just find out where the hell we're going? To hell if we don't clean whatever sins this game's talking about. Oh, wow. Hilarious joke, Obama. I thought it was funny. Yeah, well, you just stick right Obama every chance you get, so that's not surprising. I do not. Looks like we need to turn on a power switch somewhere to open this door. I saw a door back the other way. Maybe it'll lead us where we need to go. I don't like how dark it is in here. I wish we had a nightlight or something on the walls. 
Well, Joe, this looks like a 1920s era bunker, so I doubt there would be anything aside from the occasional lantern anywhere nearby. Here's the other door I saw. Damn, it's locked. Maybe we missed something back that way. Did either of you see another door or something? Hold on, maybe we can get back up. Donald, your fat ass can't get up there. You both look and weigh the same as a goddamn beluga whale. Oh, here, there's the other door. We can go in there. It's empty as hell in here. They need to do some decoration updates or something. This place feels dreadful. Donald, we're in the literal land of dead people seeking out for our sins and trying to cleanse ourselves of them. I doubt anyone gives a fuck about how this abandoned bunker looks. Fuck you. I'd say I doubt anyone gives a fuck about how you look, but your ugly ass is an eyesore. At least you can fit through a double door, unlike you, Donnie. Shut the hell up, Joe. At least I'm able to remember what comes after the letter A in the fucking alphabet. Ah, yes, more heroin needles. Here you go, Joe. You know you want it, like father, like son, remember? Hey, not cool Obama. I got over that shit back in 1989. Wait, what the fuck do you mean by that, Joe? I mean, uh, protect the children and, uh, ice cream. Hey, what about this game? It's crazy, right? Joe out of pocket for real, for real. How oh, fuck this shit hurts my ears. Oh, wow, I haven't heard this song in years. It sounds like Russian or something. I can't tell. Russian? Fuck the commies. We don't do that communist bullshit here. We're American all the way. Oh, look, a control panel. Fuck yeah, look, a weapon. We get to shoot fuckers in this game now. Uh, I don't like how excited you got about that, Donald. I think you have major issues. Shut up, Obama. You just don't know how to have fun. Let's turn on the power. Oh, uh, guys, that didn't sound good. Yeah, I agree. That definitely sounded like something huge crashed. It must have been Donnie jumping. Fuck you, Joe. I'm not fucking fat. Yeah, you're just big boned, right? I'll big bone you if you don't shut the fuck up, Obama. Whoa, Donnie, what the fuck? That's gay as hell. Holy shit, what the fuck is that thing? Looks like your husband, Obama. That thing looks scary as hell. It sounded like it was crying or something. Yeah, it looked like a fucked up Demogorgon or something. Yeah, you can keep that ugly ass thing away from me. I don't care if I have a gun or not. It won't do shit against Obama's husband. Donald, for the last fucking time. My wife is not a man. You look at that ugly thing. It looks like an anorexic bipedal worm or something. I don't think it can see us. Maybe it only hears things. Well, then put the fucking phone away. That thing's gonna get us killed, you fucking idiot. You holy fuck, why does its back curve like that? Holy shit, Obama, you were right. It can't see us. What a fucking idiot. Don't let it get too close. Oh, oh shit! Ah! Die, motherfucker, die! Holy shit, that thing is scary. Yeah, fuck that shit. Good work, Donald. You really popped a cap in that fucker's ass. You look at its ugly ass face. Its head looks like an uncircumcised dick. Guys, I hear another one. Don't worry, Joe. You have an absolute professional military marksman on your side. I know exactly what I'm doing. Wait, Donald. Maybe we can leave him be and save our ammo. As long as we don't get close, we should be okay. Yeah, I can leave this one in here, too. It sounds like it's locked in there. All right, let's go open that door that needed the power turned on. Look, there it is. Let's open it. Hold on, let me clear the room. All right, looks like we're good. What are we doing now? It says turn on electricity and escape mm -hmm. from the bunker. We already turned it on, so we just need to find a way out. All right, we're loading. Let's see where we're going. Mm -hmm. Looks kind of like a classroom or a school or something. Ah, yes, the most American thing possible. A man in a school with a gun. Where haven't I heard that before? Shut up, Joe. I'm not a school shooter. I'm simply just trying to escape this fever dream. I guess we should just explore, see if there's anything we can find like health or ammo. Good thinking, Obama. Let's go support Joe's heroin addiction. Guys, I really don't like how dark it is in here. I'm worried one of those weird monsters are going to turn the corner. 
It'll be fine, Joe. We're just looking around for supplies, so if that does happen, we have a way to kill it. Yeah, and we have max health. We will be fine. Plus, what are the chances something pops up this early anyways? Ah! Damn it, guys. What did I tell you? I knew something would happen. Shut the hell up, Joe. Now is not the time for I told you so. I just got my ass smacked by what looks like a fucking infected 80-year-old cephalic penis. Go grab that health and get the fuck out of here. Damn it, why does every door in a horror game have to be locked? They do that to keep the story linear. It's a way to keep you from getting lost. Yeah, and knowing you're dumbass, Joe, that's a good thing. You'd get lost just taking two steps forward. Look, I found the cafeteria. Trump should be excited. This was his favorite place of all time during school. Shut the hell up, Obama. Look, there's another one of your husbands. God, they get uglier every time I see them. Should we kill it or just let it sit in the corner? I vote kill it. Nothing that ugly deserves to live. Wait, Donald, chill the hell out. We should conserve ammo and health. There's no reason to kill it. Obama, you fucking buzz kill. I just wanted to kill it. Look, guys, stairs. Oh, God, it's Joe's worst enemy. Everyone be prepared to catch him when he falls. Hey, fuck you, Donnie. I'm doing better with that. I taught myself how to stay balanced when I'm putting one foot in front of the other. Guys, we need to find a way to get into whatever room the archive is. There. That room with the boards and the white arrow. That's it. We need a way to get the boards off. Let's look around. Uh-oh, there's blood under that door. Donald, look, there's ammo. Grab it so we have more. Wait, what the ah! f Oh, hell no. Fuck that shit. That shit just crawled up on us like the bitch from The Exorcist. Guys that scared the fuck out of me. I don't want to do this shit anymore. It's fine, Joe. We had your heroin needle right here. We're back up to full health. We will be fine. Yeah, now we just have to find a crowbar or something to get those boards off. Look, there's a hallway we can go through. Let's check it out. It looks clear. Shut up, Joe. You couldn't tell your ass from a hole in the ground, let alone whether a room's clear. I'll tell you when it's clear. Obama, I think him holding that gun is getting to his head. Yeah, that's all you, Joe. I would rather not get shot, especially not by Donald's fat ass. Yeah, you better be scared, bitch. I'll pump you full of my 9 millimeter lead, motherfucker. Uh, Donald, you might want to rephrase that. It sounded gay as hell. Yeah, Donnie, you're not pumping me full of anything. Guys, do you hear that shit? That thing's outside the room. Fuck it. I ain't scared of shit. I'll kill his bitch ass. It's like when he's holding a gun, his confidence and ego skyrockets. Will you just go kill that thing already for fuck's sake? Fuck you, Obama. I do what I want. Oh, shit. See, that's what the fuck I meant. I had to survey the area. Yeah, but what about the other one, dumbass? It's annoying as fuck. Can we please at least leave this room? Fine, but the only annoying thing I'm hearing is two bitches begging me to get us killed. Fuck you, Donald. We just wanted to keep moving you. Literally, we're just sitting in that room for no reason, listening to that thing cry. Well, there you go, dumbass. These things don't even scare me anymore. That's how amazing I am. Fuck you, Donald. That only didn't scare us because you literally sat there listening to it for five hours. Uh, in all fairness, Trump, you did sit there for like five minutes just listening to him preparing for it, so... Goddamn radios, always scaring the hell out of me. Sounds like more Russian music. Ah! Holy shit, why is it crawling like that? God damn it, reload faster. Shut the hell up, Obama, I know what I'm doing. Damn it, Donnie, you almost got us killed because you couldn't reload the gun. Shut the hell up, Joe. You don't even know how the fuck to reload a gun, let alone tell me how to do it. Let's get the fuck out of here and go find that crowbar before Trump gets us killed. Look, here's a door it might be in here. There it is. Grab it and let's go open that archive. All right, here it is. Hold on, I'll take the boards off. Let's just hope there's nothing behind this door that'll kill us. Oh, great. A huge-ass blood spot. That's always nice. Whoever is sending these messages is kind of an asshole. They literally just said this dreadful-ass empty place represents us. Like, what the hell? In all fairness, Donald, you are basically a cutthroat businessman who will do anything to make another buck. Yeah, Donnie, you're kind of an asshole to me, too. Well, that's why I'm rich and you're both broke as fuck. You guys couldn't run a business and be a multi-billionaire like I am. Shut the hell up and keep moving fat ass. At least I look good and don't look the same as a goddamn hot air balloon.
Fuck you, at least my wife's not a man. Here we go, another room. Maybe it has more ammo for us. For fuck's sake, another one spawned? God damn it, just don't sit in the room for three hours again, waiting on it this time. Fuck you, Obama. I'm gonna kill these son of a bitches. Donnie, stop being a pussy and go kill it then. You're just sitting here. God damn it, die, motherfucker, die. I'll kill your entire fucking family. Trump, you are sending major red flags right now. Keep saying dumb shit and you're next Obama. Whoa, Donnie, chill. Let's go in here. We need to get the hell out of this place. Oh, fuck another one. Kill it, Donnie, kill it. Fuck this thing. It ain't shit. Yeah, bitch. Fuck you. You can't kill me, motherfucker. Donald, stop teabagging the fucking thing. Fuck you, Obama. You haven't done jack shit this game and you're the one who picked it. That's because your crazy dumb ass is scaring us with that fucking gun, you maniac. You should be fucking scared, bitch. I'm the captain now, motherfuckers. Let's try to find another room. We keep finding dead ends with jack shit in them. God, that bell is ear piercing. And oh my fuck, why do they keep spawning me? They're not even scary anymore. Yeah, they're definitely overused as hell. More stairs, we can go down there. God, I hope we can leave this place. I hate it here. Yeah, let's head down there. Hopefully there's something new. I'm tired of going into rooms for nothing. Well, Obama, that sucks for you because it's just a dead end. There's not jack shit down here. Damn it, fine, let's head back up. Guys, I have a bad feeling. Wait, what the fuck? What kind of Inception bullshit is this? Go back down, hurry, let's get the fuck out. Okay, fine. We better not be fucking stuck. This is some bullshit. I don't know, Donnie. I'm scared. This is like that one SCP-087 thing. Look, a way out. Get the fuck out of these cursed stairs. I'm going, damn it. God, I wish this hurried up and fucking ended. This is getting too fucking weird for me. Another room. I'm getting tired of this shit. Just walking room to room. Wait, this one's got more stuff in it, though. I hear something over there. Go look. Oh, fuck, it's right there. Look at it. Yeah, but it's not making any crying noises. Maybe it's asleep. Hold on, let me check it. I swear to God, though, Obama, if this fucker wakes up, I'm going to shoot you in the fucking foot. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Oh, my God, his intestines were ripped out. Hey, I would have done worse to him. Shut up, look, the TV is playing something. Hell no, I'm not taking my eyes off this fucker. He's going to do something, I can feel it. Why do they always have to speak Russian? I don't understand them. I don't know, but we need to get out of here. There's nothing else in this room for us. If only Donald would stop staring at the dead Demogorgon fucker. Shut the hell up, Obama. I'm just being thorough. Like I said, I feel like he's gonna wake up. Johnny, just leave the fucking room. There's nothing in here. Fine. Fuck both of you guys. Wait, listen to the left. There's one outside. Yeah, I hear it now. Don't worry, I'll go destroy his entire lineage. You worthless piece of shit, I'll kill you! Donnie, I really think you need to take anger management or something. Yeah, this is getting out of hand, Donald. Both of you shut the hell up. I need to make sure this fucker isn't awake. Oh, look, a bathroom. Look, Joe, another needle. I know this should seem familiar. Why would it be familiar? Joe, you idiot, he's saying you used to shoot up in a dirty-ass bathroom like this one. Oh, well, fuck you, Donnie. I only did it in my bathroom at home. Oh, nah, Joe, that's out of pocket. You shouldn't have done it at all. Look, there's the room we need to go to. Go in it, Donald. All right, Obama. At least this one shouldn't just be an empty room. Oh, man, that door opened and I thought it was empty for a second. What the fuck? It says get rid of the hand. What does that mean? Oh my God, I know exactly what it wants us to do. It wants us to cut it off. Oh no, but I like my hand. It lets me grab stuff. Grab what? You can barely even walk and talk at the same time. Fuck you, Donnie. At least I don't use my hands to grab women without consent. Shut the hell up, Joe. That was all alleged. The charges were dropped, you have no proof. Both of you shut up. We need to find out what the hell to do. I don't want to cut our goddamn hand off that's bullshit. Yeah, well, it looks like we have no choice, so fuck it. Let's go do it. It's got to be somewhere in this room. Well, if you're so okay with it, why don't we just cut off your hand and get out of here alone? Because I have the gun, dumbass. Now shut up, let's do this. Oh, fuck no, that knife is rusty as hell. Here it goes. 
Oh, fuck no. He's chopping that shit like it's a fucking tree. Look, there's blood everywhere. Why did he do it so quickly, too? He didn't even hesitate. God, this tinnitus is even worse than the fucking bell ringing we heard. This shit fucking hurts. The achievement says that was all of Act 1. Oh, cool. So there's more to play if we ever want to. Guys, look, our hands back. That must have been some type of dream or something. Yeah, and we're back in this empty ass field. I hope we don't have to do all that mm -hmm. shit over again. That would be annoying as hell. Yeah, I'm not doing that shit again. That entire game was way too crazy. Well, the message says our hands are fine, but we need to go back in there. Now, Donald, I think I'm done for the day. I need to go and sleep. It's 3 a.m., and I have plans with Michelle tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to go, too. I need to get my daily 14 hours of sleep or I'll wake up with a headache. See you guys. See you, Donald. All right, everyone. We really enjoyed this game. It was fun. And if you want to see more, put it in the comments and we will make a part two. Otherwise, we will see you in the next one.